Today we're going to Mount Atsumoto Castle, which is thank you. Um, which is called Crow's Castle because the exterior of it is black. Excited to see that, and then we're heading over to Nagano tonight. We're in Hida, Takayama, and we are walking around. Um, we've got until 11.30, and currently it's 10 past nine. The cutest thing just happened, like we just, you know, stumbled across this little building and the door was open and we thought maybe it's a house, maybe it's a museum. So we kind of like, you know, lingered around the outside. And then this old woman comes up to us and she's like, um, oh, like, hello, whatever. And like, she invited us inside. And um, I know a stranger danger, but everyone here is so lovely. Um, she couldn't have done anything to us if she tried. So we went in and we took off our shoes and we're like, what is this place? And she told us it was a church. Um, and then I was like, okay, cool, what kind of church? So like asking her, we went inside, uh, there was like a kind of like a stage thing, like an altar. And we sat down and kind of had a look. And then she said it was Shinto. So we're like, oh, okay, cool, so it's a temple. Pretty cool. <laughs> he said the one Japanese word that we know. She started talking to us. In Japanese. Yeah, she got so excited. I'm like, oh, she's like, oh, I'm like, no, 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 I don't speak Japanese. Sorry. And then on our way out, like, she, she's really cute because she thought we spoke Japanese just because we, I said, like, origato or something. And then she gives us a little snack pack. Like, she's like, it's a lucky snack. She just gave us one each. A little snack pack. And got these little like like a red bean lolly it's got a biscuit and it's got a little um, pastry thing and it's got whatever this is some pretty cool stuff to try out later on another little soy cracker so yeah that's really lovely honestly these people are just so beautiful they're so trusting they're very uh generous and accommodating it's really something else just walk around and talk to people or at least try to talk to people she just start a segment called dogs of japan so cute. seeing this little creature everywhere apparently he represents wealth and prosperity because he's got a fat belly <laughs> he's also got man boob <laughs> Oh no, that's noodles. Oh. Handmade buckwheat noodles. Um, so I tried sleeping on the bus, but it was very rocky. We went all the way up the mountain, and I look like crap because I uh, kept almost falling off the chair. <laughs> um, but anyway, we went to the vending machine. We're in uh, Nagano. Nagano, that's the name. Hello. Hey. <laughs> and there's a vending machine, and it has hot drinks. So it's got a hot cocoa in it, which is really cool. That's good. It's really good. Definitely what recommend. Would you, what would you rate it out of um, five stars? That's really good. I don't know. Probably five, actually. 
it's really yummy maybe a little bit more sugar maybe a four and a half stars out of five <laughs> but yeah it's really good all right weather's gotten significantly colder i'm now wearing four layers and we're at matsumoto castle Stunning. So now we're inside the castle and they had to get you to take your shoes off and so we're walking up these really steep stairs all the way to the top. So we're on the sixth floor of Matsumoto Castle, right at the top. We went all the way up to the sixth floor and you can see some really good views from the cannon holes. And we saw the samurai's armor! Whoa, my hair's a mess. But yeah. we saw the samurai's armor and the cannon holes and the knives and the guns and it was awesome. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, those stairs were so steep though, like my leg muscles really ache now. Yep, I definitely recommend everyone to go to Matsumoto Castle and check it out. Go up to the top. It's actually not as hard as it looks. Okay, so a really cool thing that you can do when you go to these places in Japan is a lot of uh, famous landmarks have a stamp and you can get like a stamp of the place you just visited on your ticket um, and then you get to keep that as a souvenir. So behind me over there is <laughs> a newly married couple, so pretty cute. And we're going to the bus now, so yeah amazing place you just feel like you could spend the whole day taking photos and you still wouldn't have enough So we're at a place called Lake Sawa. Sewa? Sawa? Sewa. <laughs> We've uh, arrived in Lake Sawa. And that is the view from our room. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, darling. And I'm sitting at this little table. It's like a like very close to the floor table.